that move our forearm, which are going to be kind of located in this region up here. And we're going to talk about the muscles that move our hand, which are down on my forearm. So the muscles that move our forearm first up here, we're going to have our biceps brachii, we're going to have our brachialis, and our triceps brachii. So the biceps brachii is going to be on the top, and it's going to be a flexor. The brachialis is going to be right on top of that bone. And so if I lift this up, you can see it here as well. And that's a flexor. And then our triceps brachii is on the back side, and that's an extensor. So that would be an antagonist to those original movements. Now if we move down, we have two more muscles that are moving the forearm. And so these are these two located right here. And these are going to be your anchor muscles, so you should always be able to find these two muscles. So the first one is going to be my brachioradialis. Brachio because it starts on my arm, and radialis because it's running along the line of my thumb. And we know our radius follows our thumb. So this is my brachioradialis, and that's going to be a flexor to my forearm, like biceps brachii and the brachialis. And then we have our pronator teres, and that's the short muscle right here. And the pronator teres is going to do exactly what it says, which is pronate your forearm. And that's the short one. So if I keep my finger on the pronator teres and rotate the arm, we can now look at these muscles on the front of our forearm. And they're going to move our hand. But since they're on the front, when they shorten, your hand is going to flex like that. Okay? So these are all going to be flexors. So the first one we're going to look at is this one that's going straight to the palm of your hand. And that's going to be the palmaris longus, right? So that's going right down to the middle of your palm. That's going to help you remember it. Now surrounding the palmaris longus, we have two muscles. And they're both flexor carpi muscles. So the one that's on the side of your pinky would be your flexor carpi ulnaris, because your pinky is the side where your ulna is. And then this one's going to be my flexor carpi radialis, right? Because that's where my radius is. So palmaris longus flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor carpi radialis. Now we only have two more muscles on the front, and that's going to be this muscle right here and the one deep to it. So this one is going to be flexing my digits of my fingers, and so it's going to be the flexor digitorum superficialis. All right, It's not superficial with these two, however it's superficial, superficial to this muscle right here. So this one is my flexor digitorum profundus, and it's profound, and profound things are deep. So that's why it's deep to the superficialis, which is also right here. So you can see my superficialis, flexor digitorum superficialis, and my flexor digitorum profundus. All right, so if we go back to our anchor points, which are the pronator teres and the brachioradialis, we can move to the back of my arm. And so we can see the first one, I'm still on the brachioradialis here, are going to be these two muscles. So again, they're moving towards the thumb. So they're going to be radialis muscles, and since they're on the back, they're going to cause extension, like that, extension of the hand. So this is my extensor carpi radialis longus, and this is my extensor carpi radialis brevis, right? So then if we move to the middle of the back of my hand, we have this one that's running right to the center, and that's going to be my extensor digitorum. So extensor digitorum is right in the center of the back of your hand. The palmaris longus was right in the center of the front. So then from here, we have two muscles we need to know on this side. The first is this tiny little guy that's right here, and it's moving towards your pinky. So since it's on the back and it's moving towards your pinky, it's the extensor digitorum minimi, or extensor digiti minimi, I apologize. Extensor digiti minimi, and then this one right here is moving to your pinky, and that's going to be my extensor carpi ulnaris. So then we only have two more muscles left to learn, and those are these two muscles right here. So previously we talked about these guys, and that was my extensor carpi radialis longus, my extensor carpi radialis brevis. And so that pattern is going to continue with another longus and another brevis. So we have our longus, brevis, longus, brevis. So this muscle right here is my um, abductor, um, the abductor pollicis longus, pollicis for my, my thumb, that's what it's called, and this is my extensor pollicis brevis. So these two don't match, and so they're kind of exceptions. So we have our abductor pollicis longus and our extensor pollicis brevis.